a very good afternoon ma'am and good i'm sorry afternoon. to have got you at a bad time no, no, but it's not a bad just, time ever uh, september october 2019 maharashtra faces the state elections yeah. what is the state of the opposition space right now i think opposition every political party is always in election mode so so are we already we're always ready 365 days 24 by 7 but what do you see as the main issues arising in maharashtra given the acute drought that we are facing and many other issues maharashtra is going through exceptional high employment unemployment is a very big issue drought is a big problem and i see in the social parameters maharashtra hasn't done well in the last couple of years which is really sad and disappointing because maharashtra was first in the country a high performing state which is not so high performing unfortunately because of bad governance so that's what really is our project and program to bring the glory of maharashtra back which are the social indicators particularly you are looking at malnutrition look at malnutrition look at education look at healthcare you'll see all these numbers they're right staring into you in your face so that will be the core ncp campaign oh yeah ours is only a party which only talks about development so that's always been our that's our politics man the recent economic survey talked about the fact that the government will now be selling data to private uh, corporations and everything you made a speech on that in parliament your views on that we are actually shocked and disappointed it's not because i'm an opponent but as a citizen first that if data can be misused i mean you see worldwide this is not something people are doing i mean the law protection law data law is something which is globally happening and here they've got this after the honorable supreme court stepped in that's when we sort of got a breather so it's like a you know they've made this aadhar into an inflated balloon and thank god to the supreme court it sort of little deflated they are again trying to pump it in and i don't see any reason why everything needs to be corrected i mean it's not about being dishonest it's but i don't want anybody to track me and why should any citizen be tracked all the time i mean they are not some i mean you're already looking at everybody with suspicion that everybody is up to tricks or doing something bad for the country <coughs> or against the country you just shock it and now selling it to private sources that's even i mean that's the worst and shocking thing which i saw it's hugely disappointing I mean in uh, coming back to Maharashtra drought Maratwada Vidarbha I and mean, these are perennially drought stricken areas we also have reports about electricity in the schools in those drought prone areas having to shut down etc what is the particular plan that the ncp has to project on these issues you know we have always worked uh, yeah, in for drought situations when we were look at the data and only data i'm not telling you that we will do this if we come to power when we were in power So you've seen the programs we have done for cattle, for water, water conservation. So data speaks for itself. But at the, this particular point, water management appears to be the big, big issue. Not just in cities, but even in villages. We have migration from villages going on, etc. And the the feeling that the water migration, the water management policy should not be stressing on big solutions, but small, sustainable solutions. Well, the point is that water is something which we've been talking for the last two or three decades. My uncle, Mr. Pawar Appa Sahib, as he was known by fondly by everybody, twenty-five years he's been talking about. He's unfortunately no more. But the first person who constantly talked about this being a challenge was about three decades ago, and I see the whole story unfolding, which is actually, I mean, I'm worried because it's not an urban farmer's issue. It's even in people in the cities. So I think we have to change our lifestyle. global warming is still very very critical and it's i sometimes really feel sad that in parliament instead of doing a tutu meme why have we not had a debate on global warming and people like me were really keen on participating and contributing in whatever way we can because it's not parliament is not a only to talk against the government it's making policies for our country and our people you think that the better. indian parliament should have three days dedicated to climate change and global warming i think they should have dedicated issues every day why only 3 days i mean the whole idea is to be in solution mode and opposition is not just criticizing the government we make several times very good suggestions government also should be open to accept them because that's what a vibrant democracy is about taking good suggestions inclusive growth inclusive ideas and inclusive future for all and a slightly contentious question about the recently held elections was on the question of the existence of the vanchita ghadi and the fact that banjit agadi seems to have cut into the opposition votes by going it alone it's likely to repeat itself during the assembly elections in terms of a certain section of the population what would you like to say well, i just hope that all the like minded modern thinking parties come together 
under the umbrella of development and the love and the passion for making a good life for people from our state and our country and serving our people. Lastly, Devendra Fadnis is the face of the BJP in Maharashtra. Will Supriya Sule be the face of NCP or who will be the face of NCP? In I think we have to leave these questions to Alliance. It's too early to say any of this. Nobody was the face in 2014 when BJP fought. There was no one face. They fought UP and there was no face. In Punjab, there was no face. In Rajasthan, there was no face. So I don't think we need to get trapped into this. Are you interested in the face or are you interested in delivery of superior results? I want results. I don't care who the face is. I want them, a government to lead. I don't get trapped in the face because then if you're trapped in a face, then if the trap, if the face is no more there, you fall like a pack of cards. I'm not willing to risk my state putting it in a face and then for the rest falling in a, like a pack of cards. You need a good team to perform. A leader is never, can't just walk alone. He needs, he needs good people around him. So it's the team that we should look for. Who has a better team? You think the opposition stands a chance in Maharashtra? Of course. We always fight an election or we go for an exam to win and to pass. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks.